today we're going to talk about my three pet peeves when it comes to scuba diving. Welcome back everybody, my name is Turk. I am the head instructor here at Prana Dive in Ahmed Bali and today we're going to talk about my three pet peeves when it comes to scuba diving. I probably have more. We're going to talk about three today. The first one, after the dive, we're taking our gear apart. You see this, you hear this at the dive side all the time. They take off their yoke. I dived in, but hey. You got your yoke, you got your little cap here to keep the moisture and dust out of the first stage. And you see people do this. Stop it. Don't do that. It's annoying, it's loud, and it makes no sense. There's a tiny little bit of water in here, right? You can blow it out like that, put it on, and we're good. Maybe you have a towel with you. Take the towel, dab a little bit of water that's in there out, put it on, and close it. There's absolutely no reason to dry it with the air in the cylinder and make that ridiculous screeching sound. Just stop doing it. It annoys everybody. Don't do it. Pet peeve number two. Divers who wear their computer on their left hand. Why? If your instructor told you to do that, come see me. The reason we don't wear it on our left hand. Maybe you wear your watch on your left hand. I get that. For some people, it's a natural thing. But if we're diving, and we're here, we're going to make our ascent. I'm going to raise my hose, I'm going to dump some gas, right? What depth are we at? That's so uncomfortable. It doesn't make any sense. My computer's on my right hand. exactly what depth I'm at, and I don't have to break my neck or my arm to do it. Oh, this is where we're at. Don't, don't, stop. Hold depth here. Maybe I have an SMB, and the SMB is floating up and holding it in this hand. Constantly twisting? No, I don't need to constantly twist to see that. Right here's my depth. I'm good. Computer should be on your right hand. Stop going on the left. It makes no sense, and it's just going to be more difficult for you. In diving, we want things to be as easy as possible. There's a lot of things that go on in the water. We don't need to be task loaded. So make things easy. Don't be breaking your neck and your arm to suit your depth you're at while you're trying to dump gas. Right here. How simple is that? Easy peasy. My third pet peeve is all of the ways we learn to signal air. How much gas do you have? Or, or in some cases, for those that are in America, it looks like someone's trying to signal to the runner on first base to steal second. I have no idea what any of that means. There's also a great way that we can signal gas using one hand. Again, our right hand. Because our left hand could be holding an SMB. We could be going up, dumping gas. So how do we signal gas with our right hand? Simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But you may ask yourself, Turk, how does that work? Good question, let me tell you. So if we have 170 bar, for those that are using the proper system of diving, 170. Now you can also do 170, that's fine. But if you do this, I know you don't have 17 bar. I know that. Uh, if you have 120 bar, or perfectly acceptable. 50 bar, you can still do this if you want, it's one hand. Or you could do this, that's fine too. Super simple, right? 180 bar. 90 bar, or nine, I know you don't have a nine bar. Okay, sir, but I use PSI. Not a problem, do you have 2200 PSI? You have two, two, 
I know you don't have 22 PSI. It's 2200. If you have 1700 PSI, same thing. Super simple. Stop doing all these things that take two hands. We can use the other hand for adjustments. Maybe we're holding on to our buddy because they have a problem. We can do everything with the right hand. More divers should be using this method. It's a pet peeve of mine to see people in the water using all these different ways of signaling gas. So before the dive, you have to ask them, how do you signal gas? And I have to figure out which way they were taught. Um, and if they do this, it can be a black wetsuit with black gloves on, you'll have no idea what they're showing you. So stop doing that altogether. One hand, right hand, same place where our computer, and do not make that annoying sound. You will see me look at you angrily at the dive site if I hear that. Just go, whoa, stop it. So those are my three pet peeves. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what your pet peeves are when it comes to diving. Stay tuned, we have some more videos coming up on Prana Dive. Uh, and by the way, Thank you to all the new followers we have. We uh, love that you are enjoying our videos so far. We have many more plans, so stay tuned.